you today. Do you want to learn new things today? Oh, I'm glad to hear that yes from you. I'm Teacher Colinette, your grade 9 science teacher. Before we start, make sure that you have with you your PPS. Pen, paper, and your self-learning modules. Are you ready? Come on, let us make another Sci Amazing Day. Before we proceed, do not forget like, share, and hit the subscribe button and notification bell for updates about our latest videos. Let's have word scramble. Study the scrambled letters and try to unscramble or rearrange the letters to form a word. Are you ready, class? Okay, let's do it. Let's have the first scrambled letters. What is the word from the scrambled letters? You're right! It's voltage. Let's try another one. Arrange the scrambled letters. And what is the word from the scrambled letters? Correct! It's resistance. How about this one? Arrange the scrambled letter to form a word. What is the word? Very good! It's electric current. Do you still remember those words? Those are the three basic electrical quantities. I'm glad that you still remember those terms. You are now ready to move on the next lesson. But before that, let's have the last scrambled letters. Arrange the scrambled letters to form a word. And what is the word? Yes, you're right. It's electricity. What is electricity? Very good! Electricity is a form of energy that results from the flow of charged particles. Electricity is a basic part of nature and it is one of our most widely used forms of energy. The moment we woke up, we usually checked our mobile phones for notifications from our social medias. We even use it as our alarm clock. In the evening, we use light to see clearly. In fact, we are surrounded with devices and machines that functions with the use of electricity. Electricity has become so important in our life. Do you know how electricity is being generated, transmitted, and distributed in our homes? In this lesson, you will explain how electricity is generated from power plants. You will also be able to describe electrical energy transmission and distribution from the sources to your homes. Are you ready? Come on! Let us discover electricity generation, transmission, and distribution. How is electricity produced? Electricity powers all our gadgets and appliances at home. Have you ever wondered how electricity reaches out from the electric power plant? What processes do electricity have to go through to reach us at home? Do you want to find the answers to these questions? Alright, let us start our discussion. Various sources of energy 
are utilized to provide electricity to power our households. For example, the tremendous energy produced by falling water is used by water turbines to rotate large generators at a hydroelectric power plant. Do you know how this hydroelectric power plant produces electricity? As the water falls from the reservoir, its kinetic energy increases and it flows very fast. The falling stream of water turns a fan-like device called turbine. The force of falling water pushing against the turbine's blades causes the turbine to spin. A water turbine is much like a windmill except the energy is provided by falling water instead of wind. The turbine converts the kinetic energy of falling water into mechanical energy. Turbine is connected to the generator shaft. When the turbine spins, it causes the generator to spin also. Generators converts the mechanical energy from the turbine into electric energy. Generators in hydropower plants work just like the generators in other types of power plants. The coil is connected to a step-up transformer that sends high voltage current to power lines. Aside from water, there are other sources of energy at power plants, include steam from burning fossil fuels, nuclear reactions, winds, and ocean tides. Each source provides the energy of motions to turbines then to the generators producing electrical energy. Power plants in general use generators to convert kinetic energy into electrical energy. Now, you already know how electricity is produced. Let's find out how is electricity transmitted and distributed. First, power plants generate electricity. Power plants generate electricity from different sources. In the Philippines, most of our power supply comes from coal power plants. Farmers step up voltage for transmission. The current generated from power plants is sent through transformers to increase the voltage. A transformer that is designed to increase voltage is called a step-up transformer. Then, transmission lines carry electricity over long distances. Transmission is the movement of electricity from a generating site to a substation where it is distributed to household. Next, neighborhood transformer steps down voltage. A step down transformer lowers the voltage in distribution lines. Then, the voltage is lowered in preparation for distribution to households. Distribution can be considered as the final stage of electricity delivery to consumers. Distribution lines carry electricity to house. Electricity travels through small transmission lines called distribution lines towards your home. These electric lines conduct lower voltage of electricity. Next, all transformers step down electricity before it enters houses. All 
step down transformer further reduce the voltage before it enters our house. This is done to ensure that only 220 volts goes into our homes. And finally, to our homes. May liwanag na ang bahay. So there you have it. From generation of electricity, to transmission, to distribution, and to our homes. After knowing how electricity is generated, transmitted, and distributed, it's time to show me what you've got from our lesson. Are you ready? Okay, let's start. This is fact or bluff. Say fact if the statement is correct and bluff if it is wrong. First, power plants generates electricity. Fact or bluff? Very good! It's a fact. Next, step-up transformer reduces the output voltage. Fact or bluff? Very good! It's a bluff. Step-up transformer increases the output voltage while step-down transformer reduces the output voltage. Number 3. Transmission lines transport high-voltage electricity over long distances. Fact or bluff? Very good! It's a fact! Fourth one. Distribution lines carries lower voltage from smaller distribution lines. Fact or bluff? Very good! It's a fact! Number 5. Neighborhood transformer lowers voltage to an amount that can be safely used by appliances in homes and businesses. Fact or bluff? Very good! It's a fact! Wow! Very good! You've got a perfect score! To sum up, here are the steps in generation, transmission, and distribution of electricity. First, power plants generate electricity. Next, transformers step up voltage for transmission. Third one, transmission lines carry electricity over long distances. Next, neighborhood transformer steps down voltage. Then, distribution lines carry electricity to house. Then, pole transformers step down electricity before it enters houses. And finally, to our homes. It's been another Sci Amazing Day class. I hope you learned something new today. Always remember that you are braver than you believe, stronger than you seem, and smarter than you think. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye!